Well, I'm honored to be able to taste this particular beer. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing two beer reviews today in the same video from the same company. This is the new Glarus Brewing Company from Wisconsin. Okay, I do have my iPad down here. I got some things I want to remember to say. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Stone Soup beer. This beer is open fermented in their brewery. Um, they this Their beers are only distributed in Wisconsin, nowhere else. Why? Because their main interest is to focus on uh, making sure that they make top quality beer. They're not interested in going big. They're not interested in going, you know, national or anything like that. There's complications with that. No, no, no. That's too, too much. Spread, spread themselves too thin. They want to concentrate on making the best beer they can for the folks in Wisconsin. And that's what uh, Dan and Deb Carey do. Uh, let's just take a look at this couple. This is a married couple. This family is a family-owned um, uh, business. And there's Deb and, and Dan. Uh, Deb is the uh, founder and president of the company, and she does all the artwork for the bottles. You know, she draws the labels. She writes the little blurbs on the side. She even puts her thumbprint on the top. So very, very personalized beer. I have nothing but appreciation for things like this because it, the heart's in it. And look, I mean, the love that goes into this beer um, is just, you can just see that. You know, Dan, uh, <laughs> well, he might look a little bit like uh, Albert Einstein, but he's not Albert Einstein. However, he's the Einstein behind the recipes of the beers. Let's get right to this. Anything else I want to mention here before? Uh, it's This is a Belgian Abbey Ale. Um, here, this one here. And I think what we should do is probably stop embarrassing them too and get right to the tasting. Let's go, okay? There you have it. This beer was sent to me. Actually, no, it was brought to me. Um, he came and delivered this to me. He's, he's actually, uh, <laughs> he, lives, he lives on the other side of the world and he was in the town, in the vicinity, and he happened to stop by and delivered this to me and I was sleeping and Mainly, let's try getting around to the beer, okay? Got my Craig Tube custom glass here that was also sent to me by a viewer, and let's give this a pour. Now, I can't get this where I am here, and, and nobody else can get it outside of Wisconsin, so it's very nice to be able to, uh, to give it a whirl. Um, I don't see a an ABV on here, but they do. She puts a little uh, blurbs on each each bottle, and she they sign it. You know, they and uh, it's so personalized. Gotta love that. I, you know, it's almost like it's home brew, really. You know, it's that's the way that is. So there's the beer. Oh, it's beautifully carbonated. It's got nice nice balls, nice and nice and cloudy there. And I just wanted to make sure that I make sure that you know that I did read. I did read the label. I did read her little blurb that she writes, and it does describe the the, the beer. So, um, I'm not going about this completely blindly. I do expect certain flavors here, and let's see if if they actually come through. This is open fermented beer, so it's fermented completely open, no lid, no top, and it looks wonderful. Nice velvety head. Disclaimer: I'm not a professional beer judge. Okay, I'm just doing this because I just feel like it and I'm honored to have this beer in my hand. Let's see what we've got. I can definitely smell like a spiciness and they've got, they, they described in the, um, on the bottle, cloves. Cloves and ginger. I can definitely detect the cloves in the aroma. Um, nicely, uh, Aromatized with that. Can't quite quite detect the ginger yet, but let's give it a taste. <laughs> with all, with no further ado, let's do this. Cheers, guys. Oh yeah. That's very very pleasant. Definitely taste the cloves. Um. The ginger, hmm. I 
Yes, there is a bit of a spiciness there. It's not as strong as the clove flavor, but it's just nice. Um, you can just pick that up. Um, and it sort of comes up front, you know, those two flavors, mostly the cloves. And as described on the bottle, yes, at the end, as it's going down, you sort of get that nice, smooth, warm, malty backbone to it. So it's kind of a two-stage, um, a two-stager, where you get the spices up front and the, uh, the sort of maltiness um, underneath at the back. Um, the carbonation is awesome. Got a nice little, nice little uh, rising bubbles there. Nice little cap on it. Great carbonation. Refreshing. Very sessionable. Very nice. I'm sure there's people on YouTube who can do a much better job at reviewing this beer than me. But you know what? I wanted to do it because I wanted to support them. I appreciate that they're a family-owned company. And maybe one day I will tour or go and visit them. Um... Maybe. They're not that far away from me, so it wouldn't be that hard for me to do. Right, we awesome. Dan and Deb Carey, congratulations. Thank you for providing us, well, providing with Con Wisconsin with this beer. And uh, I, I really appreciate uh, your efforts and the love that goes into this product. You can tell. It's, it's, it's just brewed with the utmost care and love and... Um, what else can I say? I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this. And in just a moment, we'll do the next beer. I haven't chosen it yet. Um, I'll go into the box in the freezer and I'll pick one out and we'll give it a whirl. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Okay, second beer I'm going to do here from the uh, new Gleros Brewing Company is a Spotted Cow. Now, if you guys want to, if you guys want to pause the video, uh, if you want, I don't know, if you sh I think you should be able to read that. If I can get my face out of the way because it keeps recognizing. Um, and and you can read that. Um, it's cask conditioned. There's not, actually not a lot of other information on there as far as the taste goes, so I'm kind of on my own with this one. <laughs> so I'll give it my best. Um, let's give this a try. See what we've got. Um, with this one, Spotted Cow. Very, very happy to be reviewing these beers. Even though I'm not a uh, professional review guy. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's get this a whirl. See what the difference is. They're a similar color with the last one. Giving it a little bit of more of an aggressive pour. And it has some yeast in it. So I'm letting the yeast... Apparently it's... Uh, They've left some left some yeast in the um, in the bottle, so we've got a little bit of haze there. I'm gonna put a one finger head. Now it's, it's compared to the last one, and I shouldn't do this, but I, I've you know done this two in a row. Not the same amount of spicy aromas that the last one had, so it's got more of a calm aroma to it. I can smell the corn. They used corn in this one. Definitely pick that up. Yeah. So, cheers. Let's give this, you know, a whirl. Hmm. Wow. Oh, definitely something different there. This one definitely takes a different approach than the last one. And I'm doing them sort of side by side because they're similar color. Um, this one's an ale. The other one just says beer. It doesn't have a specific style on the bottle. Um, it almost tasted like a holiday beer, actually. The other one did, the last one we did there. Um, and uh, a little less of a head retention there. And less carbonated. It's not as carbonated as the, uh, the previous one. And again, I'm sort of doing them back to back. So let's see what else we can pick up here. It's almost like there's um 
it's sort of fruity, like, um, trying to pick out, like, pear, pear or banana or something like that. Somewhere in between pear and banana is sort of what I get, but it's very mild. It's actually, you could, you could get put quite, uh, I don't, I think it's 4.8% alcohol is what, what I looked up, but I don't know if that's true or not, because I can't remember. Um, you could probably get quite, uh, um, blasted off these. It doesn't taste very strong as far as the alcohol goes, but it, uh, it's, it's so clean that you could just drink it. Like, you know, you could chug, chug this beer with no problem at all. Very sessionable. Um, obviously it's a little lighter on the carbonation, as I said. Yep, definitely. Which is why there's, uh, you know, not much head retention. A little bit of lacing there, which is good. I guess, if you like lacing. <laughs> so all in all, between these two beers, um, you know, they both have different applications. Uh, you know, the first one I did, Stone, stone Soup, uh, was very, you know, spicy, like, you know, in a holiday, like, you know, you could taste the... It's almost like it was nutmeg or something in there, although I don't, they didn't mention that, but, uh, you know, definitely the cloves and, and the ginger. It's more of a, you know, a, a, a sort of a Christmassy kind of thing, whereas this one is more of a, like a lawnmower style, if you will. Now, it's not like a craft, it's not like a, um, sorry, it's not like a store-bought, like, commercial beer, you know, Coors or whatever. It's, there's more to it than that. It's not just some, uh, you know, beverage that has some little bit of flavor and gets you drunk. There's definitely a nice flavor to it. And um, although it's very sessionable, it's also pleasing on the palate, is what I, the best I can describe as, as a non-professional uh, beer review guy. Um, and um, if I was to, you know, compare the two, I think that, you know, they both have their um, their their place. The the the, the uh, stone one was definitely stronger tasting, uh, more of a, um, you know, a crafty kind of tasting beer. Uh, whereas this one is more just a lawnmower. I shouldn't say just because it's so much more flavorful than, you know, your average uh, commercial beer. Uh, but it's still very sessionable. Yeah, I could sit here and drink these all night. Because <laughs> and you could chug this. You could chug this. I won't because I have more. I have work to do here. But you could chug this so easily because it's not very carbonated, and it would go down very, very easily. I'll do a little chug. Okay, not the whole thing because I want to enjoy it. No problem. You could chug this thing like there's no tomorrow, if that matters to anybody. But that's a waste. It's nice and flavorful, and I hope that uh, hope that uh, Dan and um, Dan and Deb don't watch this video because they they're gonna go, oh, don't do that. It's supposed to be savored, um, but uh, you know it, it's delicious. So uh, you know, guys, if you have a chance to get this Wisconsin brew and try it out. Um, or if you live in Wisconsin, definitely give this a try. I I'm I approve. This is good beer. I mean, it's 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 so much better than the stupid, you know, mass produced beer that you can get all across the country. That's and they pay for the you know they pay high prices to have their beer in the front row center on the shelves and it's a it's a cutthroat cutthroat industry. These guys aren't into that. Okay, they just want to make good beer and please people with it in their state of Wisconsin. And that, and the fact that they're just doing it, the two of them, I'm sure they've got other people working, but it's, you know, anyway, um, I appreciate this being delivered to me. Thank you, Urs, Urs. I, I can't thank you enough for letting me try this, these beers. Well, that's about it. I guess I should, I'm, I think I'm rambling. Let's, let's, let's sip this again and just, hmm. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, that chug sort of did me in uh, a little bit. I haven't had much to eat today, so I should probably go get a bite to eat. Cheers and beers. <laughs>